Uh, we're sitting here with Derek Cooper of the music department. He's a senior in his final uh, semester at IUP. Uh, welcome, Derek. You're a composer, a musician. Tell me about the world premiere piece that the Trombone Choir will perform during the IEP Plays Pittsburgh concert, Slide Dance. Sure. Well, it's a somewhat short piece, around two and a half minutes. Um, mainly focuses on the um, time signatures and the rhythms used in the piece, in that nearly every um, measure is a different time signature than the one before it. And this offers a good challenge for the uh, trombone choir that they have to keep the um, beat in their head for each measure. But it also adds a lot of excitement and spontaneity for the um, audience listening to it. So that hopefully it works as a very good closer to the um, trombone choir section of the concert. This will not only be performed in one of the great concert venues in the world, Heinz Hall, but alongside two works by one of the world's leading contemporary composers, Richard Daniel Poor, who is planning to come to the concert. How does all this make you feel? Well, I've actually had the um, honor to meet Dr. Daniel Poor a few times now, um, both to study with him and just to, to meet him. And he's absolutely an amazing person and an amazing composer. So I'm very excited to uh, see what his feedback of the piece is and to have him hear something of mine live. Um, with that said, I know when we get on stage and everything, I'll be just a nervous ball, a uh, nervous wreck, but, but I'm very excited to have him here. You composed Moving Forward for the opening of the IUP Performing Arts Center last year, as well as the music for the dance theater production of The Collector of Beauty. Uh, any other compositions we should know about that you have done or coming up? Next spring, I'm planning to have a piece premiered with the uh, Trombone Choir which works on making, having them uh, play sounds not necessarily through blowing through the horns, but any other mean, means possible to make the horn sound, whether it be tapping on it or moving it in a certain way. Um, and the whole idea of that is to make music that's going to sound like a storm. So it'll be very experimental, but I think a lot of fun for the uh, performers and for the audience. I'm from uh, York County, uh, Red Lion Area High School. Um, I plan to go into grad school. I'm looking at grad schools right now, starting to apply for um, fall of 010. And I'm basically looking all around. Um, final goal, I'm really hoping to get a doctorate, um, teach at a university, theory composition. And as far as my compositions go, I just want to let them kind of take me as far as they absolutely can. Tell me a little bit more about Collector Beauty. Watching the movie Perfume, um, I got inspired by the way the main character collects um, the woman's scent to create one all-inspiring scent that everyone kind of feels this euphoria with. And I like to uh, relate that to music and that there's this possible like, one it, sound. It's just been a really exciting that, experience um, between the dancers to find this euphoria and the musicians. I like to think every time when I'm writing, you know, who's going to be there to listen as far as um, people that I really respect, as far as professors, peers. And I really try to put everything I can into all my music because I know they're going to be there, they're going to be judging. I really try to focus on something that they'll like to listen to. But um, also, I, I, I do a lot of it for me. I think that's, that's something in music that we need to do is we need to do it for ourselves. Um, so I, I really like to work for myself and, and something that I can be proud of.